My name is Laura Myron and I'm here with Jim Ra and today we're going to do a quick yoga sculpt routine to work those muscles and get our full yoga workout on. So let's start right away in goddess pose. Turn your toes out, turn your knees out, have a nice wide stance. Bring your weights right together in front of your chest and sit those hips on down. Alright, that's all you got for now. Down, up, up, down. It's opposite day, right? <laughs> By up I meant down. And every time you come up, squeeze your glutes together. Now the shoulders. Up and down. Up and down. You got this. So this is your warm up. <laughs> right away going for it. And each time you go, try and sit a little bit lower. Remember, pretend you're squeezing your feet together underneath you. That's going to hit your glutes. Four more. Three. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Draw your navel up and in. And hold. You got it. Stand all the way up. Bring your feet together right into tree pose. Lift your left knee up. Now you're gonna put your weights into your right hand so you can lift your left knee and guide yourself into tree pose. Now right here, this is hard to do, okay? Now, keep the weights in your hand. Bring your hands to your hip. Stretch your arms all the way up. So if you need to just do one weight, that's totally fine, okay? Now bend your elbows for the triceps. Bring the weight right behind you and up. This is so hard for that balance, right? You can see my little feet working in the sand here to try and balance myself. Six more. We're working the backs of the arms right here. Four, three, draw your navel up and in. bend your elbow. Last one, hold it up. Hold, 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 hold. Bring it all the way down and we're just gonna go right into the second side. So lift your other leg up for a tree. Now find a soft gaze out in front of you. Try not to be looking down, right? So get really tall, make yourself taller. Hand to your hip, weights to shoulders, and then reach it all the way up. Breathe and find your balance. We're not in a hurry here. And then bend your elbow. The first one's gonna be tricky and then it gets better as you go. You find your balance, you find your way here. Six more. Five. Four. Three. Two, draw your navel up and in. Now hold this one up and balance. Three and two and one, lower all the way down. Great, keep a hold of those weights. Step your left foot back to come into the crescent position. Weights to shoulders and stretch your arms all the way up. Now, weights back to your shoulders, lower your hands to the ground. Hop, step, or hop switch. If you're stepping, you step forward, you step back. Weights to shoulders, reach up. Now just hold here, because we held on the first side. Breathe, draw your navel in, lift your hip points up. Weights to shoulders, lower the hands, step forward and back. Weights to shoulders, reach up, shoulders down. Maybe you hop switch, shoulders up, down. Step or hop switch, shoulders up, shoulders down. You got 50 more to go. Just kidding. <laughs> Left leg, shoulders up, down. One more on each side. Shoulders up, now, come to the right side and hold. Shoulders up and hold this one here. Hold, hold, hold and breathe. Now find your balance, look out in front of you, look out in front of you, pause and breathe. Pour the weight into your right leg. Go ahead and bring your weights back to your shoulders and lift your left knee up. Now, bend your knee, step back. Reach up, weights to shoulders, stand up. So we're working that right leg and the shoulders. Step back, reach, shoulders, lift the knee. Back, reach, shoulders, knee. Ooh, my right glutes are feeling this already. Three, up, two, up, one. Hold, <laughs> don't move. <laughs> okay, slowly, carefully, half moon. Look down at the ground. Now you get to look down. This 
right weight is gonna be, you put your hand on your right weight, stretch your left leg back. Left elbow lifts up. Now, extend your left arm straight and back down. Straight and back down. Now this one's gonna take practice. So I keep, I keep reminding you, it's a yoga practice, not a yoga perfect. You've got four more. Draw your navel in, stretch strong through your lifted leg. Two, hold. Now, slowly, carefully, bend your right knee. Oh my goodness, chair pose. What? You did it. <laughs> Left foot forward, right foot back. Reach up and hold your crescent lunge. Now I highly recommend doing this at the beach so you get to hear the waves and look at the waves. Okay, weights to shoulders, lift the right knee up. Now bend your left knee, step back, reach. Shoulders, knee, back, reach. Shoulders, knee, back. Work in that left leg. Work in that left glute. Shoulders, knee, back, reach. Shoulders, knee, whoo. Few more to go. Keep a steady gaze and relax your face. And if you fall like I almost just did, you keep going, right? That's life. Two more. Now next time you come up, stick it and hold it. Now look out on the ground in front of you. Your left hand comes to the ground, put the weight down. Reach your right leg straight, bend your right elbow up towards the sky. Draw your navel in. Here we go, extend and bend. Now I would highly recommend looking down for balance. You also want your left hand a little bit further in front of your left foot so you can get length through your spine. So if your left hand is right in front of your foot, hop it a little further forward. Four more. Navel in. Two. Hold it up. Bend your left knee first. Chair pose and hold. You got it. Now, arms by your side, hinge at your hips. We've got to work those back muscles. I'm big on working the back muscles. So flip your hands to face behind you. Lift your arms up and down. Up, now only bring your weights right about to your knees, up. Now squeeze those hands together behind you, squeeze. Lift your belly button away from your thighs. Four, three, two, hold this one up. Now tap the weights together behind you, out. Now you're not actually gonna tap them, but you're gonna pretend you could. Eight, seven, breathe nice and deep. Remember that's the part of the yoga practice that sets it apart, is focusing on deep breaths. Two, hold, bend your knees, bring your hands to the ground, step your right foot back, step your left foot back, step your right foot forward, step your left foot forward, stand up, do that skier, and then go back down. Left, right, left, right, lift, back down. Right, left, right, left, lift, back down. Left, right, lift, make sure you're alternating legs. Now you can change it to a hop, forward and back, lift and down. Land with your heels down, up. Two more. Up, last one. Now, next time you come to plank, stay there. Hold. Now we haven't done side plank yet, so guess what we gotta do, side plank. Lift your weight up. Now today, slight bend in your elbow, bring the weight forward towards me, and lift it back up. Forward, up. Four. Remember, look down for balance. Hips up. You can always lower that bottom knee to the ground and switch your sides. Hold and find your balance first. And here we go. Reach it towards me and up. In front of your chest and up. And four. Work in those back muscles. Hips up. Work your obliques. This is your abs. Should we do 30 mountain climbers? Let's go. 30, 29, 23, 22, 15, 10, 
in. You got this, you got this. This is your finish line. Three, two, one, and child. Pose, hips back, reach your arms forward, breathe. Ooh, fill your lungs on your inhale, exhale, release completely. So if you have a little more time, you can connect this with one of the other yoga sculpt workouts and then add on one of the 10 or 15 minute stretch, restorative hip opening workouts afterwards. But until then, have a great rest of your day. Namaste.